What's going on guys, Luca again, back with another SBC video. So in this video we're actually going to be doing the Pacific Rim Tour SBC. I believe this one is still in the store now and I'll just show you some of the players, well you'll see the players that I'm putting into the team here. A um, couple of Australians and uh, yeah you'll just see now who we're getting in this team. I think you get a premium Electrum players pack for completing it. And I can't remember the individual packs, but you'll see those on the screen in just a second anyway. And um, this first one, as you can see, we're getting a silver pack. Um, but anyway, you'll see the team now. Uh, 200 coins for the goalkeeper, uh, 200 for the right back, 600 and 500 for the centre backs, 800 for the left back, 450 CDM, 200, 350 for the centre mid, uh, a little bit around the same for the cam and the two strikers as well. We get the silver players pack there, hoping to get something good out of that, try and make some coins back. Um, but anyway, as you can see when we come back, uh, we go into the rim tour again and we're going to do the chilli one now. And uh, the chilli one I believe was like one of the cheapest, it was very very cheap to do this one. We have like the villa there and uh, is it Piers, the, uh, the right back. Um, the left back probably costs the most in this team, I believe. Uh, we also can just chuck in a random bronze uh, centre mid from Mexico right in the middle because uh, we've already got the chemistry, as you will see in just a second. Put the right wing in, put the striker in, and then we put in uh, the left mid, who's not a position change. But that's the team done, as you can see. Pray, play, pray later. For the gold players, I was paying around 400 coins, um, unless apart from one. I believe the right back cost a little bit quite as well. Um, but yeah, the striker cost me around 450. The left mid was around 750, 850. Uh, we then get a gold pack for doing that one. Then we come back and we're going to do the Japan one now. And uh, yeah, you guys will have to let me know if you are enjoying these videos and if you guys got anything decent in these packs because my look so far has been awful, <laughs> to say the least. I mean, it's it's been absolutely shocking. I mean, I've opened... I've opened a rare players pack, I've opened jumbo packs, and I don't think, I don't think I've only had one 84 rated player, and that was Benega in the last video, so make sure you go and check that out. Um, I'll probably have a, a playlist for all these videos as well, because uh, at the minute I haven't had to do any trading because I've been making enough coins every time, um, but yeah, there will come a time when we need the coins and to do like to do one of the big SBCs, um, like maybe a team of the week player one. Um, but yeah, it will get to the point where we do need to start doing some trading, uh, which I will definitely do soon. Um, I think I've got maybe two more after this to put up before I start recording again. Um, but anyway, as you can see, a lot of these players pay 204 for the bronzes. Um, a couple of them cost a little bit more. I believe the left back and the cams cost a little bit more. Um, we get a silver pack for doing that one. Then we go and get the Korea Republic one. We have the likes of uh, these uh, Korean players for the bat four. Well, bat f yeah, bat four, min no, bat five minus left back. Left back costs around 4K, I believe. It might have even been 8K, I can't remember. But uh, yeah, we get a pretty decent pack for that. Uh, all players pack there. SBC is indeed done, and we're going to go straight into the packs from here. Are we going to get an inform? Are we? Are we going to get something decent? Are we going to get an 84 rated? But I'm going to show you my trade pal first. As you can see, 51 items have sold. Uh, you'll, you'll see everything that's sold here as I'm going through it. Uh, Malumbu there, the couple of the fitness cards sold. Well, healing, uh, the fitness cards sold as well. Benega sold for 2k, uh, Matthew sold for 1.5k, uh, Alan sold for 1.5, Wanyama was 950. Um, a couple of the silver players did sell, which I was quite shocked at for selling first time round, uh, especially because they're not that popular silver players. Um, but I clear all 51 items to free up some space for my uh, for this uh, these packs, and we start off with the silver packs. And I wasn't really expecting anything, and that's what I got, nothing. <laughs> but um, yeah, we got Cummins there. We got a couple of contracts, fitness cards that can sell. Um, the contracts will sell for 200. The well, the rare one, the non rares might sell for 150 if I'm lucky. Um, but anyway, the next one we actually do get a rare player. It's not a very popular player though. It's a South African who I don't think I've seen anyone use. Uh, we get a Thierry Ambrose from Man City who could definitely sell. Uh, from I think he sells for like a 1k. Um, next we have a gold pack as you can see. We don't even get a rare. Um, 
well, a rare gold player, that is. The rare that we get is actually a CDM to centre mid card, which, in all fairness, isn't that bad. Um, it sells for like 1,300 coins, maybe. But we go and open the all players pack now. We get a tiny flare. Don't even get a rare gold player. We get Charles, the Brazilian striker from Malaga. And uh, the rare player is, I believe, a bronze. Yeah, a bronze CDM. We get Insua Gazelle as well. And we get a striker from Reading, Mendes, I believe it was. And uh, the last pack, the Premium Electrum Players pack. And we get a tiny flare yet again. But we get ga Gay. Is it is it Ghana Gay? Idris Ghana Gay? I don't know. But he'll definitely sell. Andre Andre will definitely sell. Um, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. So we're on 27k. We've got like a full trade pal to sell. You'll find out in the next episode or video when how many coins I actually have. That's going to be the end. If you did enjoy it, drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.